Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. And uh, today we'll be taking a look at how to create this grow effect using Cinema 4D's MoGraph tools. Let's get going. Okay, so we have a blank canvas. Let's see if we can build this effect. Let's go to our primitives menu here and insert any object. Uh, let's go for a cube and I am going to go to MoGraph and get a cloner. Just a quick tip, if you didn't know, if you hold ALT when you insert any other uh, object, it will automatically become the parent of the object you have currently selected, and it will copy the position and rotation attributes. So that can be really useful sometimes. I am going to change the mode of my cloner to grid array, I'm going to turn down the size of these cubes because they are definitely too large right now. So let's make them 100 by 100. Let's make this cloner a lot larger. So something like this. And let's give it more count in the Z axis. Or should we say the X axis? Yeah, let's go for the X axis. So we need to elongate it this way. And uh, give it more count in the X. So if we say seven, that looks uh, pretty cool. I'm going to go to my MoGraph, go to Effector and Random. So we have a little bit of a randomness going on there. We can go to the parameters here. Let's go to Rotation and add a little bit more randomness. So if we go for 300 on that one on the heading, 200 on the pitch and 100 on the banking. So we have some nice and random uh, objects to work with. Okay, I'm going to enable my growth shading lines shading method so I can see clearer where my shapes are. And I'm also going to filter and remove the grid. So we have a nice clean slate to work with. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is to insert a plane effector. This one is just going to stay here right as is. We're not going to move this. And let's go to the parameter section. And then we're going to disable position. But let's enable scale. And go to uniform scale. And let's type in minus 0.99. And it seems this is not affecting my clones. I think when I inserted this, I was not... Uh, select my cloner. So if we go to the effector section, we see we only have the random effector. So let's go ahead and add the plane. Make sure you add it after the random effector because they work in the order which they appear. So right now the random effector is uh, it's got the first uh, shot at changing these clones around and then the plane effector does after that. So uh, when I did that, you see that all the clones disappeared and uh, you can just about see them. They're very, very tiny. And that's the trick to this. They don't actually disappear at all. They're still there, but they're just really, really small. We are going to insert a second plane effector and uh, that's uh, appropriately named plane one. So let's leave it like that. And uh, we're going to untick position and let's tick scale go to uniform scale and set this to 100 and just by doing that you see this uh, back to normal size now this is where it gets fun we want to animate this uh, plane effector coming in getting those little 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 cubes you saw and bringing them back to normal size and then that will give us the grow effect we're trying to create so if we go to our fall off tab on the second plane effector. We want to set the shape from infinite to box. And uh, if we increase the scale of this box to let's say 500, you can see as I move it, it starts to bring back those other cubes. Now you can see as I continue moving it, the other ones start to disappear. And this may be a cool effect for another time, but I want them to just all start off small and then all come back to normal size again. So I need to basically make this longer. So I'm gonna do just that. 
just make sure this is the right size and then now it's just a matter of animating the position of this so we'll start off here and finish here and just like that we have our grow effect Thank <laughs> you.